What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the shop. I want to build a small decorative vase. I don't have a lathe though, but when have we ever let not have the tool stop us? So I'm going to see if there's a way that I can do this on the table saw. I've never done this before. So I um, think I'm going to have to dig through my scraps and figure out how to make some sort of crazy jig. After digging through all of my scrap bins and my hardware, this is what I came up with. So this jig is made out of particle board and it sits over the fence on my table saw sled so I can easily push it back and forth. And it has two wings and the workpiece will fit inside the wings. Now on each side of the wings, I drilled a series of holes based off a template. Now, let me show you how this works. I cut out a circle template with a center hole and a bunch of holes on the other side. And I use that to drill holes in each side of my piece here. And that gives me a center registration so I can take a bolt and put it right through the center here. And that bolt can then be attached to my workpiece. And I have it on the other side too, so I can make sure that everything is even and the thing's not gonna wobble in place, you know, like this. The other ones are registration pins. So I found a couple of these really thick nails and they fit perfectly in there like this. So what I can then do is I took another one of these, I attached it to a piece of scrap wood, and I could put this on my piece. I can drill holes on the end of each piece, stick it into my jig, bolt in my bolts, so the whole thing spins. And then as I'm cutting it, I can take the registration pin, stick it in there, and then my workpiece won't move. I can pull it out, I can rotate it, and I can put a pin right back in place. Let's try it out. I think this thing turned out awesome. I wasn't really sure if it would even work, but it did, and it looks fantastic. You probably can't see it on camera, but the base is a little bit wider than the top. I think if I were gonna do it again, I would make the top a little bit more narrow, just so it shows off those curves more. But as a proof of concept, I can't complain. I think this was an amazing project, and I learned a whole lot about something that I had no experience with. So don't be afraid to get in your shop and try something completely off the wall that you've never done before. That's the best way to learn. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel. 
Hopefully we see you on the next video. And until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.